the seat of King Alfred's power, where hawkshit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. This must be the house of their timid god. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Go, my eyes. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby, or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Even the mighty fall, and God's servant, the Bishop Aylfirth, was mighty indeed in defense of his God. He bathed in the river, so a gentle wash brings them closer to their god. He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. Their god brings them light, just as Baldur does, light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. Thou art weighed in the balances, and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. Speak his story, in order. 
I am no Christian. I do not know your stories. Then return when you no longer languish in a pit of ignorance. Has his light brought illumination to your darkness? Speak his story. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. So many lies in the name of your god. Perhaps he is not strong enough to help you. My god is the Almighty. But my enemies are numerous and my throne is fresh. There must be no trail from these murders back to me. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come.
I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. <laughs> on him arresting Alfred's man. Goodwin gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? <laughs> Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Guards here are vigilant. Go, Sunan. Do you see?
Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Dane in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! <laughs> Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging, a husband and wife, to be carried out soon. to get on the other side.
Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. Bless you. Too kind. Thank you. Winchester mourns a good bishop, and a strong, virile man. I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored reeve. 
This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wields words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. The Lord works in mysterious ways, taking his servant in so terrible a fire. Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfeth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. <laughs> Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. Thank <laughs> you. 
am grateful for your help. It this so sh I did a well. I found this name. Alfred Bugger. The Gallop must be in the reef, of course. Could it be then? Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table, where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. Cast about this land, my friend. Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfa's pyre. Very poetic, but he is going to be very... Bert, 
It's yours for the taking. What is that boy doing all the way up there? Jump, little flea. Jump, flea. Jump. Stop it, you grubkin. If he falls, God will punish you. He's so brave. Like a young King Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh egg. What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me. I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an, an overripe plum, I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my uh, uh, loins. Loins, eh? Or I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist, but I could get it if I wanted to, just so you know. Mangled noggin. What a terrible show! Boo! Boo! A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister batter as a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death, then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by.
Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Do you believe in souls? The part of us that lives on with God after we die? Bishop Ale. Stop struggling and give back that apple! Apple? I didn't stop on nothing! Give back! God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. <laughs> You there, little cut purse. Keep your beak out, Nosy. I'm starving. <gasps> Be my eyes, Sunan. Do you see, Sunan? You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? You great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A uh, hack in a dress, maybe? Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, his little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Be 
my eyes, Sunan. I should watch out for a mousetrap. King Alfred, stealing is wrong. and he's gonna whisk me away from all this toil. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. You have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! You die now! <laughs> Barry time! Get out of the well!
come, child. Whisper what you've learned. And Mother will give you a treat. Coward! Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. 
My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement, with ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death, our battles will rage on. It's the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Six is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Six, the Six is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Care to test your skill at Orlog?